Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Tampa, located in Hillsborough County, Florida, on June 30th to July 1st, 1862. The Union Navy had implemented a blockade around Florida, cutting off supplies to the Confederacy from their European allies. By August 1862, they had tightened this blockade as a result of capturing New Orleans and other large towns near the Mississippi River. Lacking the necessary supplies, the Confederate military was starving. Part of this plan was to secure port cities and Tampa was an example of one. On June 30th, the USS Sagamore came into Tampa Bay, a Unadilla-class gunboat she had been commissioned in December 1861, and her purpose was to help the blockade. She was 158 foot in length, had an 11-inch Dahlgren smoothbore cannon, two 24-pounder smoothbore cannons, and two 20-pounder Parrot rifles, with the new rifling allowing it for long-range accurate fire. As the Sagamore arrived, she was ready for combat. Her guns had been loaded and freed to fire, preparing to unleash a fury upon the town. The Sagamore anchored, and more than 20 men launched from the boat towards the Confederate line to demand their surrender. They were met by Confederate officer Captain John William Pearson in his own boat in the water. The Union commander ordered the surrender of Tampa from Pearson, and Pearson replied that he had never heard of such a word before, so he wouldn't be able to help them with that new word today. The Union boat returned to the USS Sagamore, and she began to open fire at 6 p.m. that evening with heavy shell and shot. The Confederate batteries returned fire, and the mutual artillery attacks occurred until about 7 p.m. that evening, in which case the USS Sagamore pulled back for the evening. The following morning after 10 a.m., the Sagamore this time stayed out of the range of the land batteries. Ravaging Tampa for two hours with its long-range guns, the USS Sagamore then took a lunch break at noon, and at once it returned to firing at 2 p.m. After firing a few more shells, the Sagamore then turned around and sailed away. That's it, my friends. That's the extent of the Battle of Tampa. There were no casualties on either side. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.